Hey, it's KMA. How is your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today begins a new series. Yeah, that's right. A new series. So uh, let's go get some wood and um, get this going a little bit. We need to. Uh, so this series is called Minecraft for the Soul. Ow! 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 That hurts. At least I'm hitting it with wood now. Why is a tree floating? Must be some magnetic... Properties or something. Let me see if it works for me. No, I, I, I don't float. Can't be magnetic. Even the, the leaves are staying up there. What's going on with that? What is this? Minecraft? What is this? Minecraft? Let's see. I'm just looking for some. Whoa, stone. Let me see what it looks like up here. See what's going on. Ooh, more ocean. Oh, come on. Learn how to climb. Well. All right. I guess we'll go over here. And uh, get some stone. Because, uh, we need stone to make some particular types of tools. Let's see. How do we play this game again? Alright. I'll think I'm getting it. Ah. Ah. Let's make a pickaxe. Yeah. I know. The pickaxe that's only going to be working three times. So I had a uh, interesting experience. I uh, kind of am in a bad situation in life. So I uh been kind of bumming out a little bit. And um come to realize that uh I was able to see I, I had like a couple of moments of clarity where I was able to uh see right through my BS, you know. I I could uh, stop lying to myself for a couple minutes, and I was able to see situations that I uh, needed to fix in my life, and I noticed that a lot of uh, what I needed to fix, make another pickaxe, hold on, spoon, yes, uh, what do we, axe, and sword, all right, let's go get some food, <clears throat> so, uh,
I was able to kind of see, I, I, I've always known I've been insecure, but I was able to see to the point how uh, the insecurity has disrupted my, my life. Um, because I, I was afraid of being Give me one. Sorry, shape machine. So this is insecurity um had kind of made it so I uh don't use the phone. I kind of agoraphobic. I get not nervous, but I tend to hide away from making videos um, because I am in so secure that I can have, say, I notice this on the, the fish channel, I can have, uh, say, 50 comments saying how great the channel is, and one person says, I don't know, you did this wrong, and I'll do I'll dwell on, oh, I did that wrong. Instead of going, wow, I made 50 people's day. You know? Um, so my insecurity is uh, pretty bad. It even gets so bad that I don't like being on the telephone. I don't like, uh, I'm afraid of uh, hanging out with friends nowadays. And uh, there's a couple of things that stem the ins insecurity from my childhood. Um, but I've definitely built walls around myself. And, uh, hmm. and these walls have protected me so well that it's kind of affected my life, you know? Um, and that's not good. I guess we're gonna put something up here. Let's put this there. Let's put this in there. Put this down there. Put that there. Cook up a little food. So the um, everything was less important than trying to keep myself safe from being ridiculed, because the uh, and a lot of people have problems with this. Um, your friends, your Uh, neighbors pick on you a little bit, you know, just in jest and stuff, but I, I take it to heart. And uh, unless you're a real close friend and I know you really well, I do take it to heart. Um, I forgot where I was going to go with the, the insecurity. Oh, I was just built walls around myself, so I kept myself from... Um, Doing a lot of things that I should have done because I was afraid of um, being laughed at. And one of the big things that growing up older is that it really doesn't matter what other people think of you. It only matters what you think of yourself because people are always going to be upset. You're, it's just going to be a... Ooh. It's getting dark already. There's always going to be conflicting uh, interests compared to what you uh, were expecting. And, you, and basically all you're going to be is adaptable and uh, don't take things to heart. 
Don't, uh, who cares what people think? It's not a big deal if you disagree with somebody or they pick on you. It's just part of life. Ow. And, uh, so that's one thing that I was able to see when I, uh, kind of stopped lying to myself and I was able to see all my emotions and stuff. So I, I knew I was, uh, insecure, but I never knew how much it ruled my life. And so I am going to work on that. Uh, learn how to become less insecure about stuff. Um, and, and like the people who've played with me before, I mean, I'm going to be totally honest when, uh, whoops. When I, uh, oh, come on. I sometimes hate these trees. So like a situation, like a party, I'm going to be going to a party. I'll, I'll be nervous about going to the party, but once I'm there, I'm having a blast. So it's not like I uh, stay nervous. It's I just nervous thinking about it. But once I go and do it, um, I'm a good, you know, it's okay with me. Even if people make fun of me, it's okay with me. It's just the scared them with the anticipation of maybe being picked on. I don't know. But like, uh, even like Minecraft, uh, be playing, um, and play with somebody online on a server or something. Um, I get really nervous about that, but once I'm actually in the situation, I love it. Which is, you know, kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> but, yeah, I just gotta get past the fact that um, I may or may not love it. And I tend to love it. It's just convincing myself to walk through my fear and do it. Because once I'm doing it, it's like, yes, I miss this so much. Because one of the things I noticed when I was um, going through this, I don't want to call it a, a mental breakdown or anything. It, it's more of a clarification of my emotions. Um... Once I got through that, I forgot what I was going to say. Shoot. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Playing Minecraft. Let's put this down in here, too. I get a lot more wood. Um, should I continue with the savannah? Yeah, because my house is going to be made out of savannah wood. Ow. Ow. So, let's see. I was talking about insecurity, how I enjoy actually playing with people, but it's the anticipation of the situation that gets me nervous. Um, and my whole life has been based around this insecurity. Um, to protect myself from being ridiculed from people. 
And again, it's not the ridicule from friends so much, because I know with the friends we're just razzing each other. Uh, but it's ridicule from people I don't know that bother me. So it's really kind of kept me from doing things I really wanted to do because. Oh, I'm going to make a Minecraft series. Oh, I never finish the Minecraft series. I always give up too soon. <sighs> but guess what? I can't give up too soon because I'm out of work indefinitely. Like, uh, for months and months and months and months. And, uh... I have all this free time and I decided that what I enjoyed the most about my past especially the last 10 years or so has been playing with other people so I'm gonna make sure I uh, you know get a, a good group of friends around me again and hopefully not abandon them this time. I uh, I feel bad that I was in a community and I like disappeared because oh boy the the crap hit the wall well, that was basically the situation. Um, and boy did it hit hard, but. Like, even now, it's hitting hard. I, uh, I had a heart procedure. I'm having MRIs. They don't know what's going on with me. Um, for all I know, I can get a test back tomorrow that says that I've got six months to live. Um, doubt that's going to happen, though. Um... But it's a possibility. So my health has really uh, scared me. And oops, the fact that I well, I shouldn't say the fact that I may be done with this world real soon um, is not why I'm doing this. It's because I finally have the time to do it again. And I miss doing this. That's why I'm here. Because I miss doing this. I miss hanging out with people. I miss... Cheap Machine. I miss... Jan. I miss Fizzbolt. I miss Acapella Guitarist. I miss Delta. I miss the Ribbing. Because I considered them good friends. And so if they, you know, made fun of me, I'd be like, yeah, ha, 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 and it wouldn't bother me. So, I, and I kind of miss that. Because that's what friends do. They rib each other. Rib each other. But if you're being an a-hole and uh, just ribbing people because they're an a-hole, um, that really bothers me for some reason. Come on. Not gonna make it, huh? These are probably some of the least favorite trees to get, but what are you gonna do? I got plenty now. I just gotta find a place to uh, go mining now. <clears throat> excuse me y'all excuse me and like um people went out of their way to help me with the um like Mr. Craft they the server I belong to I was having a hard time and they they did all this awesome stuff to help me out to make me feel better and it actually I can't say made things worse 
I really appreciated it, but uh, I have a feel uh, a bad tendency of not thinking I deserve it because uh, of life childhood traumas has really messed me up. Let's see, we'll put that up there. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my farms. So another thing I realized is that I, uh, I'm quite the a-hole myself. I don't mean to be, I don't mean to hurt people, but my, uh, my insecurity tends to make things bad, um, with people I don't know too well, so I might sometimes come across as an a-hole, and that's like the last of what I want to do. I tend to um, put myself in front of other people's needs. Or not really think of other people's needs as much as I should. Um, so it's a little bit on the selfish side. And nobody likes selfish people. <laughs> At least I don't like selfish people. And you may be going, oh, the, the KMA, I don't know, it doesn't sound anything like this. Um, but I tend to also tell people what they want to hear. Instead of being honest, um, I tend to tell people what they want to hear because... There's a skelly. Um, so I don't want to razzle anybody's feathers. Uh, so I will take the short end of the stick to help the other person. I don't know. Now I'm talking gibberish, or more likely I lost my train of thought. <laughs> or says, or just BW what I need to, um, what was that? That's a cave and a half. Wow. Okay. So, it, like, telling people what they want to hear and basically um, trying not to ruffle feathers has put me second a lot of times. And even though, cruddy putty. I say I'm selfish, or I have selfish tendencies. Um, I don't like um, I don't like to cause ruffle feathers. I like to make people's experience with me pleasant. 
I'm kind of like thinking out loud and wa walking through my thoughts. So I guess doing what uh, people want to do around me um, has just made the experience more pleasant. And it's not like I'm going to be like, oh, this person wants me to jump off this bridge into the river. I'm not going to do that. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, if it's a movie I really want to go see and they go, let's go see this other movie, which I've been kind of like, ah, I'll go see the movie they want to see just so they'll be happy. But at the same time, I'm still very selfish. Too selfish. All right. Let's uh, find a place to uh, mine. Ow. We could dig down here. Let's go around this way a little bit, take a look. So the things I've noticed about myself is I uh, I don't follow through. My motivation is next to nil. Unless I write it down on paper, I'm not going to get it done. So I'm writing all my stuff on paper so it gets done. Um, it's almost like a cross-off sheet. Damn, that's a big hole. So basically, the uh, goals that are going on is I'm going to be not driving for uh, at least six months. I'm not allowed to work. Um, so I'm not making any income. And so somehow we're going to have to come up with $4,200. Um without me working and that's not why I'm doing this this is because I had the free time to finally focus on getting some stuff done uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing, is focusing on getting the series going. <clears throat> getting the uh, video reviews up. Getting the fish shows up. No. Uh. Huh. Well, that was uncool. I don't know where I fell down. That's probably where I fell down. Well, I gave him some problems. Try this again. I just want to grab my sword and punch him. That's not where I fell. I fell over here.
There's my sword. All right. One more time down there, I'd probably do it. This is why I don't play hardcore. <laughs> this is exactly why I don't play hardcore. So as you notice, uh, this, this series is called Minecraft for the Soul, and the soul part is talking about um, let's get my stuff in order talking about uh, the emotions that I've gone through explaining why I have been kind of a, a D-bag um, and so forth and so forth it is nobody's perfect i know that but uh i'm a perfectionist so i try and be perfect let's just use this over here get to sleep real quick open my stings up here there it is there we go sleep so I have a lot of things to uh, figure out about myself and basically I want to become a better person tomorrow than I was today and so forth and so forth because uh Hear lava. Because becoming a better person each day is uh, a goal of mine. Um, other goals that I have are like uh, just being the best, uh, being real, having gratitude for the other people in my world. I um with my insecurity i have uh kind of tried to take on the world by myself and you know what it's a lot easier taking on the world with more than just yourself you know you have good friends and good people around you um it's good it's good but unfortunately, I have this tendency of uh, putting toxic people around me. And those toxic people I love. So, it's like they, uh, they tell you, if you run into somebody that's toxic, you run the other way. Because you're going to, it's just really hard to deal with um, but my life is surrounded by toxic people including I I can be quite toxic um, but it's something I'm working on she A couple of lights on this. So I'm trying to stay away from the toxicity, even though it's kind of hard because um, a lot of people in my life are toxic, including my family.
So, how much grass do I have? Seven. I think what I'm going to do is smooth this out. Throw a torch down here. Don't want any rumbling and grumblings. Let's go get some grass. So basically all I'm, I'm saying is I'm trying to become a better person. I'm trying to do the right thing. I know I'm not a bad person. Um, but there's definitely a lot of things I need to work on. And my goals... Um, is like within six months of starting this... I uh, want to be able to sustain myself so I can prove a point uh, to my naysayers because that's a lot of mo motivation for me. And Hopefully, uh, with the point proved, uh, which will give me what I'm looking for. You're wondering, um, this is going to be like a staging area for my mind. So another thing that I have is a motivation issue is I, uh, like music is one of my favorite things to work on, but to actually get started working on the music, I, uh, I procrastinate a lot, even though when I'm doing the music, I enjoy it, but it could all stem from the fact that I've been super depressed. And I could be just suffering from, you know, when you're depressed, you don't want to do anything. So I'm hoping that might be the case because uh, I have a feeling that doing these videos, uh, making seven videos a day or six videos a day um, is going to do a lot of... Uh, gonna do a lot of good for my mental health and I hope to share with these videos and hopefully they're entertaining enough for people to want to watch them I'm not saying millions of people or anything I'm not expecting that with the Minecraft series because it's Minecraft is a little saturated. <laughs> Just a little saturated. But uh, the, the series is basically going to be... <clears throat> um, me doing this for an hour. At a time. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday... Minecraft for an hour while I try and figure out my life. And hopefully me trying to figure out my life helps other people try and figure out their life. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff.
So we still haven't figured out what's going on with me yet. Physically. I had the heart surgery, the emergency heart surgery a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, and I'm passing out a lot. My brain ain't there like it normally is. It's, uh, my short term memory is fried. Pretty bad. And. You know, I could be in better health, so. But I'm not one that has really ever looked after my health, but, uh. Getting a scare like I did was. Ooh. Scary. <laughs> How's that for an explanation? Yeah, I, um, with my <clears throat> insecurity that has gone rampant, um, I don't have any friends right now. Which... Is actually fine by me. <laughs> I uh, feel like I can get a lot of things done without hanging out with somebody for 10 hours a day or whatever. So usually when I get a friend, um, I'm with them all the time. Which makes content creation a little difficult. But I've made a deal with my wife. Um, content creation between 7 and 10 o'clock in the morning. So another thing that is uh, a little interesting is that I'm waking up uh, early to do this. So I might be a little sleepy sometimes. Oops. Sleepy. Let's see. That's not where it is. Where's my... My tunnel's over here. Tunnel. Hey, tunnel. Where are you, tunnel? I had to make a road over here so I don't forget how to get to you. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to take out this too. All right. 
Where are we going down? We're going down, 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 down. We're going down to 16. Because that's a level for iron. And uh, iron would be nice to have uh, for mile suit of armor. So I, I think, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but um, as you see, this, this series is not going to have edits. Um, I might make an edited video series once the next update comes out with Minecraft. Or I might, um, continue doing this. I figure if I do an hour... Um... An hour a day unedited is is a good thing. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know if it's a good thing. But we'll find out. I'm just having trouble keeping my thoughts in line. Just because I've had so much happening that it's tough to, you know, not be negative. <laughs> I don't want to be negative. I want to lift people up. I want to make people happy. I don't want to make people sad. Speaking of which, um, let me make you sad for a second. <clears throat> Seeing I'm unable to drive and unable to work, we have no income. So if uh, you are willing and able to help me out, Please do at PayPal KMA's Corner. PayPal me KMA's Corner. Hmm, this is going to be a little difficult. I'm going to leave it like that. Let me uh, block that up for now. So yeah, KMA's Corner, actually, um, paypal.me, KMA's Corner, um, we haven't eaten in a couple of days, my daughter, myself, my wife, cats have eaten, <laughs> of course the cats have eaten, <laughs> sorry, daughter, you're not important enough for food, the cats can get some though. <laughs> um so yeah if you could help us out in that way that would be amazing um especially right now because uh life sucks 
There is no bright side right now other than the fact that I'm starting this Minecraft series and doing these other videos. So I have a link for that in the description. Um, basically, uh, what we figured out is somehow I've got to make $150 a week until August doing no work. And this is the closest to work that I can do to work. So, um, the help would be extremely helpful. Even if it's only like $5. But at the same time, I feel bad because it just seems like every time I come around, I need help. It sucks. And I'm sick of having to ask for help. Well, I'm sick and tired of it. I don't want to be that person. Not anymore. I don't want to be the person like, oh, here's the guy that always needs help. Why can't he do his finances? Now, another thing that put a kink in the um, road for me, which was kind of unfortunate, is I got a bill from the IRS for $17,000 because they think I made $43,000 of income on eBay in 2022 um, even though I've never sold anything on eBay so that should be an interesting fix so I can't do my taxes and get my refund which we were um, kind of depending on uh, to help us financially so that's another reason why um, we really could use the financial help. Once the IRS uh, figures out their mistake and fixes it, I can do my taxes, but that's not going to be for a couple of months. And that is uh, a good half of the money that I uh, we need to get through the situation, it's more than half of the money that we need to get through this situation. Um, but we're not going to be seeing it anytime soon. Another cog in the wheel that makes life go round and go round and go round. And that's what it is, is like, <clears throat> before obstacles are like, oh man, why, why is this happening to me? But now obstacles are like, oh, well, you know what? There's something to learn from this. What is it? And then I learn from it and hopefully um, don't get stuck in the same trap again. So that's what I'm doing. And, and, and another good thing that I, I have is uh, even though I'm not like a religious person at all, I have faith that everything's going to work out. So even though I could have a brain tumor or brain cancer, um, I do believe that it's going to work out. So we'll see. I just don't want early onset dementia. <laughs> so my thing is to 
suggest that every once in a while you step outside of yourself, look at your whole being, look at your soul, and um, if you're able to do it without lying to yourself, you can really learn a lot about what type of person you are and um, gives you an idea of what you need to work on. And I need to work on basically my insecurity first and um, well we've already gone over that so I don't need to tell you. I just want you guys to take a step back, look at your life, see what you can do better, and figure out how you could do it better. Sometimes doing it better means that you learn a new skill or something, or you have to do some research, but that's okay. One thing I've realized is that it takes like 10% effort to get 90% something at 90%, but to get from 90 to 100% is takes 90% effort. So yeah, I can <clears throat> do something that's pretty good really quick, but if I want it to be excellent, it takes forever. And um, I kind of want this to be excellent. I'm not talking about my commentary, but this world, and also the music, because starting tomorrow, I will be doing um, music online, writing an album. Hopefully people will be interested in that. I know I will be interested in that. So if you're wondering what I'm doing is I'm just building a um, tunnel down to level 16 somehow. But it looks like I've got some freaking work to do. And it's dark out. Let's see. Can I get to my bed without dying? Possibly. Possibly, do I die? No. Stop that. All right. So, guys, guess what? It's been about an hour. Uh, let me know if you like this this uh, way of doing things. Let's just think of it more of a stream than it is a video. Um, and I hope you don't mind me trying to figure myself out in front of you guys. But um, have a great day. This is KMA. I am going to remind you to... Check out my other channel, KMA Reacts or Reviews. I'll put a link in the description for that, where I review different types of music, uh, a different band every day. Um, and there's going to be three videos a day going up over there. So one video a day here and three videos a day over on the other side. Um... So I would like some feedback from you what you think uh what you think if uh, an hour unedited video is good or not. All right? 
So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. This is KMA. Goodbye.